welcome everyone through this video i am going to discuss today how to find domain range of function so different kind of function even function odd function periodic functions today i will discuss only the basic concepts of function so first i will discuss how to find domain of a function so we know if y equals to fx is a function then the set of values of x set of values of x it is domain it is denoted by dm and set of values of fx it is called range it is denoted by rn so domain is set of values of x for which function is defined in calculus we shall consider only real value finite function so real value so x must be real and function must be finite so suppose problem number 1 algebraic function so fx equals to x by 2 plus x square so it is called a rational function ratio of two polynomial function if it is at the numerator then domain is r but here 2 plus x square is at the denominator so it is not defined when denominator is zero so a is defined a 2 plus x square not equals to zero so x square not equals to minus so square of a number is always real number is always positive but here it is negative so what we are getting x not equals to plus minus root y so what is df df equals to r r minus values of x if x is real but here x is imaginary so no need of subtracting plus minus y no need of subtracting plus minus y root y therefore what is the domain domain is r so we can write in terms of integral in this form also so we shall consider real valued finite function so we are getting x equals to plus minus root y so it is not real so domain is r only basic concept you look first so look if a function is of this type suppose this one so 2x minus 3 into x plus 1 this is problem number 2 these are board board problem of class 11 so very simple problem so it is also rational function ratio of two polynomial function so denominator not equals to zero so f is defined f is defined when 2x minus 3 into x plus 1 not equals to zero so x not equals to 3 by 2 and minus 1 so what is df r minus only these two points are excluded lo these are 3 by 2 and minus 1 real value so it is undefined when 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is excluded minus means excluded and minus 1 also excluded but for the previous one it is in terms of i so domain is r next go 3 4 5 6 7 8 14 14 all are of same type now we consider first problem number 5 So problem number five. So f x equals to. So suppose six. F x equals to one by nine minus x square. 
so here to make it finite so 9 minus x square not equals to 0 but look it is given within root over sign so root over positive is always real so root over thing for to find domain of this type of function within root over root over thing must be greater than equals to 0 if it is at the numerator greater than equals to 0 but if it is at the denominator only greater than 0 because 1 by 0 is undefined so fx is defined fx is defined when 9 minus x square greater than greater than only it is denominator so x square minus 9 less than so do not write x less than plus minus c it is not true for second order integration so you know if you have, you have to factorize it and if it is linear factor of quadratic form so look the value this is 3 minus 3 3 and minus 3 we consider if it is less than 0 you know value lies inside the interval because look for greater than 3 this is positive this is positive this one is positive for less than minus 3 both are negative so 2 negative is positive if it is in between them suppose 2 1 is negative 1 is positive now this one is negative so no need of showing this so you can write the answer directly so what is the value if it is less than inside the interval so if you solve it minus 3 less than x less than 3 minus 3 less than x less than 3 equal to is not included because it is at the denominator. So answer is in terms of open interval. So df equals to minus 3 to plus 3. Now we consider a problem of competition. So problem number 7 and 9, 14. So problem number 7 7 fx equals to 5 into mod x minus x square minus 6 so same idea so root over 3 so fx is defined if root over 3 5 minus so this is greater than equals to 0 it is at the numerator so we can write it multiplying by negative sign this is less than equals to 0 so we can write it mod x whole square 5 into mod x plus 6 so factorize it mod x minus 3 and mod x minus 2 less than equals to 0 so by the previous method so look this is 3 this is 2 so this is less than so lies inside the interval so what we are getting 2 less than equals to mod x less than equals to 3 so now we have to solve this in equations so mod x less than 3 we know less than 3 implies x belongs to minus 3 to plus 3 and this one is mod x greater than equals to 2 greater than equals to 2 means outside the interval that is you know mod x greater than 2 means x less than equals to minus 2 and x greater than equals to 2 so in terms of interval this one is this comma this so union 2 comma infinity. Now we write, write the answer. So for mod is less than this is one integral and this is second one. So final answer is this part plus this part. This means union this integral union this integral. So listen again fx equals to this fx is defined if this is greater than equals to 0 solving we are getting two in equations in terms of mod so mod is less than equals to 
3 means x belongs to minus 3 to plus 2 and this is outside mode x greater than cos 2. So, minus 2, so outside the internal. So, what is the final letter? df cos 2. So, what is df? Domain of f. So, minus infinity minus 2. Union. Two comma. So look at the figure. So this is minus less than two. This is greater than. Two. And for this, this one is minus three. This one is plus. Three. So lies inside the integral. Lies inside the integral. Now look at the figure. So this is minus 3 to plus 3, first one. And second one, less than minus 3. Mi less than minus 2. And this is x greater than 2. So what is the common portion? Domain is common portion of this and this. So common portion is obviously minus 1 to minus 3 to minus 2. Union, this part is common. Then union two two three. So look it again. F x equals to this. So argument must be greater than equals to zero. So factorizing we get two equations. So mod x less than equals to three. So this means x belongs to minus three to plus three. We are not discussing it because if x mod x less than equals to 3, which means it lies between minus 1, 3 to plus 3. And mod x greater than equals to 2 lies outside the interval. That is minus infinity 2 and 2 to infinity. So, this is solution of inequation this and this one is solution of second equation. Now, what is the common portion? Common portion is this part plus this part. So, this is the domain. Now, we consider domain of problem number 14. So, fx equals to hard bracket x whole square minus hard bracket x minus 6. This one is within root of one, where x is greatest integer function, where x is greatest integer, third bracket x, this symbol, this is greatest integer, greatest integer function. Now, same with procedure, denominator within root of our sign. So, argument only greater than 0. So, third bracket x square minus 6 only greater than 0. So, if we factorize 3 into third bracket x, 2 into third bracket x minus 6 greater than 0. So, third bracket x minus 3, this one is 1 factor and third bracket x plus 2. Greater than zero. So, so this is greater than mean equation is greater than. So this is minus two and this is three. So it is greater than in equations, therefore third bracket x. So value lies outside lesser than minus two and here third bracket x greater and C. So, this is greater than 3. Third bracket x is greater than 3. Now, we have to find value of x. Domain means value of x. So, third bracket x value is greater than 3. That is, third bracket value is integer. This means if third bracket x, this is 4, 5, 6 and so on. 
So we can write x belongs to 4 to infinity. 4 is included. Because if we take 4 to 5, 4 included, 5 excluded. We get 4, then 5 included 6. In this way, we get x belongs to 4 to infinity. In this interval, we always get more x greater than 3. Now, x less than minus 2. Value. So, value always less than minus 2. Less than minus 2. So, this is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. That is in this way. So, x belongs to minus infinity 2. So, we can take also minus 2. If we take minus 2, then it is as bracket. It is as bracket. So, minus 2 is not included. We get this one and from x greater than 3, we get this. So, what is the domain? df is minus infinity minus 2 union 4, comma. So, 4 is third value, 4, 5, 6. So, this is domain of f. So, we need idea of greatest integer answer. Now, we consider domain of these functions. So, problem number 15 and 16. This is logarithmic function. So, try to recall fx equals to log x base any base f a is greater than b. So, try to recall. So, log x is defined for all x greater than b. So, df from definition, df is x greater than b. So, 0 to infinity. And range of f for value greater than 1, it is positive. For less than 1, it is negative. So, minus infinity to plus So, this is our working tool. So, 15 is simple, 16. This is problem of j main. So, look, log of this. Now, root over 3 always greater than 0. So, base, suppose base is so, this one, total 3 must be greater than 0, since it is within root of R. And number 2, argument of logarithm is always positive. So, problem number 16. So, write, fx is defined by fx is defined when when what is the argument 5x minus x square by 4 greater than g, only greater than g. and log of base e 5x minus x square by 4 this may be greater than equals to 0 because root over 0 is 0 so argument is positive and total thing within root over is greater than equals to 0. So, if we multiply it, x square minus 5x less than 0. So, x into x minus 5 less than 0. So, x lies between 0 to 5. 0 to 5. So, we are getting one set of solution. Now, if base is greater than 1, e, which is base of log 2.718, if it is greater than 0, so, if we omit logarithm, if it is greater than 1, sorry, greater than 1. So, if we omit logarithm, so in equation, greater than in equation will be in terms of greater. But if it is less than 1, so in equation reverses. For this problem, this is e, so greater than 1. So, 5x minus x square by 4 greater than equals to 5. So, 5x minus x square greater than equals to 4. So, 5x minus x square minus 4 greater than equals to 0. So, multiply by minus x square minus 5x plus 4 less than equals to 0. So, x minus 4, x minus 1 less than equals to 0. So, 1 less than equals to x less than equals to 4. Now, the so first restriction is 0 to 5. And what is second? 1 to 4. This is 1 to 4. This is 1 to 5. So, what is the common? 1 to 4. So, df is 1 comma 4 third bracket. 
one comma four third part. So look, argument of log greater than zero, only greater than zero, and th the thing we need to cover is greater than equals to zero. So this is our concept. So solving, then taking, we are taking the common part. Common part is one comma four. Now problem number seventeen and eighteen. So inverse circular function. So what is our working rule? Sine inverse x is defined when minus one lesser than equals to x lesser than equals to one. So in case of cos inverse, this also minus one to plus one. So look. Problem number eleven and seventeen and eighteen. They are of same type. So one marks problem. So it is within two part. So this is greater than equals to zero. So consider problem number seventeen. So this is one marks problem. So this is defined. If we consider this as f x, so minus one lesser than equals to two x minus lesser than equals to. So minus three lesser than equals to two is minus three lesser than equals to three. So add three. So zero lesser than equals to two x lesser than equals to six. So zero lesser than equals to x lesser than equals to three. So what is D F? Zero comma. This is domain of F. For the problem number eighteen. So x square minus sixteen minus Minus x squared. This will be greater than equals to zero. So solving in equation, you get. So these are basic problems of domain. How to find domain? Now we consider how to find range. Range. So simple problems. Today I will discuss only simple problem. Problem of board only or waste mangle joint. In the next class, I will discuss. The typical problems. So range. Now we find we will find a range of answer. So we consider only simple problems. So range is values of f x, values of f x. That is y. So we take a simplest problem. So linear. This is of linear form. Rational, polynomial first degree, polynomial second. So this is y. So x minus y, six minus x. Now our main aim will be to express x in terms of y. So six y minus x y equals to x minus y. So what is x? X is. So look, six y plus five. X into one plus one. X into one plus one. Six x minus x y x minus five. So x to the right hand side one plus one. So what is x? One plus y y six y plus y. So x is defined when x is defined when six y plus y not equals to zero. Because if it is zero, it is undefined. So range is restriction in terms of y. So y not equals to minus y by six. So what is range of it? R minus only the point minus y by six is excluded. So in case of rational functions, where numerator is of first degree and denominator is of first degree polynomial, then range will be R minus only a single point. So express y, and it is not defined when this equals to zero. Now problem number two, problem number five, problem number nine. They are of same type. So here functions are given within root over sine. Suppose problem number five. So f x equals to four minus x square. So this is f x. 
So this is y. 4 minus x square. So y square equals to 4 minus x square. So x square plus y square minus 4 equals to 0. So our aim will be to express x in terms of y. We can write x in terms of y also. So general method is you form a quadratic equation. And since x is real, discriminant always greater than equals to 0. So x belongs to R. So D greater than equals to 0. What is B? A is 1. B is 0. C is y square minus 4. So 0 minus B square minus 4 into 1 into y square minus 4 greater than equals to 0. So y square minus 4 less than equals to 0. We are multiplying by negative sign. So look, y minus 2 into y plus 2 lesser than equals to 0. So what is the solution? Solution is it lies between minus 2 plus 2. Now look, since y is given within root over sign, so y must be positive. So you delete the negative part. So what is df? df equals to 0 to 2 included, so 0. So look, you have to consider the extreme point. If 2 is included, if 2 is included, so suppose y equals to 2, so end point, so 2y square, so 4 equals to 4 minus x square, so x square equals to 0, so it may be x may be 0, so it is possible. So if we put x equals to 0, so if we put y equals to 0, y equals to 0. So y equals to 0 if we take, so 0 equals to 4 minus x square. So x equals to plus minus 2. So this is possible value. So df equals to 0 to 2. So look, when it is of the form, when it is of the form 1 by root over, then you have to see whether n points, n points create any problems or not. Here, if we put 0 and 2, it gets no problem. So, n points are included. Now, look, we can also solve it by considering, so look, y square 4 minus x square. So, what is x square? x square is 4 minus y square. So, x equals to root over 4 minus y square. So, what can we write? So, since x is real, 4 minus y square greater than equals to 0. So, this y minus 2, y plus 2 less than equals to 0. We are getting same in equations, minus 2 plus 2. So, what is our rule? So, since y is given within root over sign, only the positive values are taken. So, this you get d at 0 to 2. But this one is general. Suppose if there is first degree term, for example, problem number 3 and problem number 12, you cannot use this number because it is not possible to express x in terms of y. So, general method is the first one. Now, problem number 12, 12, problem number 3, they are of same type. So, suppose 12, so y equals to x square minus x plus 1, x square plus x plus 1. So, look for this problem, it is not possible to express x in terms of y. So, we use general So, x square from y minus 1, x from y plus 1 plus y minus 1 equals to 0. So, this is quadratic equation. d equals to b square minus 4ac. So, y plus 1 whole square 4 into y minus 1. This is also y minus 1. b square minus 4ac. So, y square plus 2y minus 1. 4 into y square minus 2y plus 1. So, minus 3y square 
So this is plus 6y and this is 2y, 8y plus 8y, 8y, 8y and 2y, 10y, sorry, 10y and this is minus 4 and this is minus 4 and this one is plus 1. So this is minus 3, minus 3. So this is discriminant. Now x belongs to r, x is real, we are considering real. So minus 3y square plus 10y minus 3 discriminant greater than equals to 0. So 3y square minus 10y minus 3 less than equals to 0. If we multiply in equation by negative, in equation changes. So factorize 3y square minus 9y minus y plus 3 greater than equals to 0. So 3y common y minus 3, y minus 3 less than equals to 0. So y minus 3 y minus 1 less than equals to 0. Now we need idea of inequations. So 1 by 3 less than equals to y less than equals to 3. This is 1 by 3 lies inside less than. So what is range of a? 1 by 3 to 3. So if there is no root, so discriminant or make quadratic equation and make discriminant greater than equals to 0. Now, you solve the rest of the problems. Now, we consider the range of simple trigonometric function. So, y equals to sin x plus cos x, 3 sin x to this. So, problem number 1, 2, 3. Now, 3 is general problem. So, y equals to a sin x, b cos x plus 3. So, what is the maximum value? we know what is maximum value. So, this is our working group. Maximum value, this is c plus a square plus b square. So, you know, you have to replace a by r cos alpha, b by r sin alpha. So, then we get y equals to r sin alpha, r sin alpha sin x r cos alpha cos x plus c. So, what is a? a equals to r sin alpha and b equals to r cos alpha. So, try to recall then this simplified in this form r cos x minus alpha plus c. So, what is y max? So, c plus this is 1. So, r. So, r is elimination. So, root of r a square plus b square. So, y mean c as it is, this is minus 1 minus r, c minus root of r a square plus b square. So, this is our working group. This is simple result of class 11. Now, look, problem number 2. So, a sum 1 3, b sum 1 4. So, what is a square plus b square? This is 5 and this is 5. So, maximum value is 5 plus 5, 10. For problem number 2, what is minimum value? C minus R. So, 5 minus 5, 0. So, problem number 2, Y max equals to 10, Y mean equals to 0. So, this is C equals to 0, root 2, 1 square plus 1 square and minimum value is minus 2. So, these are simple problems. Now, look, consider problem number 4 and 5. So, alternative definition of range. Range is the interval of maximum and minimum value. So, we have already used this result in 3. Now, problem number 4. So, what is maximum value? Y max. So, look, it is 1 by. So, Y is maximum when sin 3x is minimum. So, 1 by 2 minus into minus 1. So, this is 1 by 3. So, 1 by, uh, sorry. So, it is minus y equals to, you write first, 2 minus sin 3x. Now, look, when sin 3x is 1, so we get, this is y maximum y maximum because sin 3x 1 
so value is 2 minus 1 so this is 1 so this is maximum because if denominator is lesser then y is maximum so when it is less when sin x is 1 because of negative sign now what is minimum value y minimum 1 by 2 plus 1 so when this one is greatest so it is greatest when sin 3x is minus 1. So this is 1 by 3. So what is range? A range equals to 1 by 3 to 1. So this is 1. This is 1 method. So what is alternative one? Alternative one is x base sin 3x in terms of y. So y 2 minus sin 3x equals to 1 by y. Reciprocal. So what is sin 3x? sin 3x is 2 minus 1 by y. So, this one is general method. So, minus 1 lesser than equals to sin 3x lesser than equals to 1. So, 2 minus 1 by y lesser than equals to 1. So, I add minus 2. So, this is minus 3 lesser than equals to minus 1 by y lesser than equals to minus 1. Adding minus 2. Our m will be to get only value of y. Then multiply it by negative sign. So, in equation changes. So, take reciprocal. Reciprocal of this. So, what is range of it? So, look, same range. So, this is scenario method. Now, you can solve problem number 5 by same method. So, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8. Now, look. So, these are given in square, power is 4, this is 6. So, we know maximum value of sin x lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So, our main aim will be to express this problem in terms of multiple angle. So, consider problem number 8. y equals to sin to the power 4x, sorry 6x, cos to the power 6x. So, it is, you know, 1 minus 3 sin square x cos square x. How it is obtained? Sin square x plus cos square x whole cube minus 3 sin square x cos square x then sin square x plus cos square x. So, 1 minus 3 by 4, this is 2 sin x cos x whole square. Our main aim is to express it in terms of multiple angle. So, 2 sin x, 4 sin square x, that is why 4 is balanced. Now, it is sin square to x. Now it is not a multiple angle. So 1 by 3 by 8, 2 sin square x. So 1 minus 3 by 8, 1 minus cos 4x. So 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8 cos 4x. So this is our main aim to express it in terms of multiple angle. Now what is y maximum? 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8. It is at the numerator. So y minimum 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8. So, this is 1 by 8, that is 1 by 2 by 8, 1 by 4. So, what is range? Range of it, internal of maximum and in each problem. So, maximum value is 1. You have to find the minimum 1. So, the problem of finding range of trigonometric function. Today, we consider only simple one. Now, how to find periodic function? Now, periodic function. So, periodic function, try to recall, this is 0, pi, 2, pi, minus pi, 2, pi, graph of sine x. So, you look the graph of function sine x. So, this is 0, minus y 0, pi 0, this is pi by 2, this is pi by 2, this is pi, then 3 pi by 2, this one is 2 pi. So, this is minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, this is minus pi. So, look, 0 sin 0 0, sin pi by 2 1, sin pi is 0.
So this is graph of sine function. We know at x equals to zero, the curve is increasing nature like that. Now at x equals to three pi by two, this is one, and minus two pi, this one is zero. Minus two pi, it is zero. So look, you are getting the same type of curve. This curve, this curve same. After an after interval of zero minus minus two pi. So two pi. We are getting same type of curve after an interval two pi. So what is period? Same type of curve after a certain interval. So that is called period. So period of sine x is two pi. So this is clear from theta. Now look, this is zero increasing from two pi. Figure will be like that. So after an interval, you are getting same type of curve. So this is all period. The difference of interval. So this is graph. Now, what is general definition? General definition. So f x equals to f of lambda plus x. If f x equals to f of lambda plus x. Then we say f x is a periodic function of period lambda. Periodic function of period lambda. So consider sin x. We have already considered it. So what is lambda? From figure, we have just seen lambda equals to two pi. So two pi plus lambda sin two pi plus lambda. Sorry, two pi plus x. Two pi plus x. So lambda equals to two pi. So this is sine x. This is f x. So f lambda equals to two pi. So period equals to two pi. So from definition, look, a function f x is said to be periodic of period lambda if f x equals to f of lambda plus x. Look, f four pi plus x is also sine x. In this case, we get least of them. Period is two pi. So period of sine x is two pi. Similarly, tan pi plus x is tan x. So that is why period of tan is pi. So we re you remember that table. So function and this is period. If we take this as sine a x general one, this is two pi by. So if we consider f x equals to sine a x. And if we consider a two pi by a plus x, we get same result. So period is two pi by a. For sine x, we have already proved it is two pi. So a equals to one. This is two pi. So to find period of trigonometric function, you should remember we said sine x this one, cos a x two pi by a, tan a x this is pi by a, cot a x that of so pi by a. Cos a x two pi by a tan a x sec sec a x this is two pi by a. So this is our working tool to find period of trigonometric function. So it will be simple if we use functional relationships. Now look problem number one. So two is constant. So period depends on sine four pi. Sorry, sine four x. What is period? Two pi by four. A is four. So this is pi by two. Now look for the problem number two. So what is the period? Look from table. This is pi by a. A is pi. So one is period. Now for problem number three, four, five, they are of same type. You have to express in terms of multiple angle. So. Look, we have already considered this problem, problem number four. So, what is y? Sine to the power six x plus cos to the power six x. And this is one minus. We have already solved this problem. Three by four, sine squared two x. Then three by eight. So, try to recall. Five by eight plus three by eight cos two x. So this is expressible in terms of multiple. So what is period? Period equals to two pi by four. That is pi by two. So this table 
2 pi by a. So 2 pi by 4. Today, we will consider only simple problems. From the next class, we shall consider the problem of convolution. Now I will discuss what is even function and what is odd function. So even function, definition, a function f x is said to be even, said to be even, if f x equals to f of minus x, f x equals to f of minus x. So this is definition, f x equals to cos x, so f of minus x, so cos of minus so cos x. So this is. So this one is. So cos x is even function. Cos x is even function. Which can absorb negative sign. Cos x sec x x to the power four six. That is even power of x. And odd function. Odd function. Look. So f x equals to sin x. So f of minus x sin of minus x. So, minus sin x. So, minus f x. So, a function f x is said to be odd if f of minus x equals to minus f x. So, it cannot absorb negative sign. So, sin x, tan x, cosec x, they are odd function. Similarly, odd power of x. So, even function and odd function. So look, fx equals to x square. So this is even function. So this is parabola. So look, this will be the figure. This will be the figure. So this part is mirror image with respect to y-axis. Symmetric. Symmetric about y-axis. So, f x equals to x squared is even function. Now, function f x equals to sin x plus cos x. So, what is f of minus x? For this one, this is minus sin x plus cos x. So, we cannot write it not equals to f x. This is not even. This is not equals to minus f x cos x. So, this is not odd. So, function may be even or odd. Even or odd or none. It, it may be even or odd or none. But there is a remarkable theorem, you know. Every function can be expressed as a sum of even and odd function. For example, you know, it is neither even nor odd. But this is odd function and this is even function. So, if a function is neither odd nor even, it can be expressed as a sum of even and odd function. So, theorem. Every function can be expressed. If the function, every function can be expressed. As a sum of, as a sum of, even and odd function. So proof is very simple. You look, f x equals to. We can write f x plus f of minus x plus f x minus f of minus x. So half here, half here. So f x half f x. So you get f x. f of minus x, f of minus x cancel. Now, problem will be solved if we throw this h x and this is g x. If one has even, another is odd, then we can prove this theorem. So, let h x equals to half of f x plus f of minus x. So, h of minus x. So, half of f of minus x plus f of so this is hx. So hx is even. hx is even. Now similarly, if we take gx, gx equals to half of fx minus f of minus x. And calculate g of minus x. 
so half of a of minus x minus a. so minus are common so a of x a of minus x so minus gx so gx is odd function or function gx is odd function so from one so what we are getting fx equals to if we consider this as one fx equals to even plus odd so every function can be expressed as a sum of even and odd function so this is remarkable theory now so we verify we will verify these functions are even or odd so we consider problem number 1 so fx equals to log e x plus x squared plus 1 so we have to verify whether it is odd or even. So f of minus x. This is minus x x squared plus 1. Now this is not minus fx or plus fx. So simplify. So that's an analysis. x squared plus 1 minus x. So we can write it as so x squared plus 1 minus x squared. Root over x squared plus 1 plus x. So log 1 by root over x square plus 1 plus x. So this is log 1, log x square plus 1 plus x. So log 1 is 0, you know. So look. So this is minus fx. So at the very beginning, look, this is not minus fx. But rationalizing and using property of log, it can be deduced in the form minus fx. So this one is odd function. Fx is odd function. So this is odd function. So similarly, it is minus. So minus will be before this. So you go. These are very simple problems. You try to solve these problems. So today we have discussed different kind of function and how to find domain and range of function. How to find real. We have discussed only the basic problems today. In the part 2 and part 3, we will solve problem of competition.